Good afternoon, everyone. This is Group 1. Our members are Edabel Balangkig, Marjo de Lima, Eva Christian Hosol, Gunmer Manzano, Pantua Jessica, Stephanie Ketara, and Angel Sanchez. The topics that we are to discuss today are Operation Management of Product and Services, the overview. Second is a different man management tools. Third is a spot analysis, which is an introduction as well as this. And the last three is the vision, mission, goals, and objectives of company, how to identify, and its formulation. All right, let's start with operation. So what is an operation? An operation is any process that accepts inputs and users' resources to change those inputs in useful way. It is an activity that needs to be managed by any competent person. Uh, please ch check the figure shown. Uh, this figure shows the operation or production as the creation of products and services is an essential function in every firm. Operation turns inputs such as natural resources, raw materials, human resources, and capital into outputs, which are products and services. Managing this conversion process is the role of operation management. Conversion or transformation process. This is the part where uh, we convert the inputs into final goods or services. These are some of the good example of uh, final goods and services. Uh, the first one is the industrial chemicals like methylene, chloride, borax, phosphoric acid, etc. So they are being produced by chemical manufacturing firms. Next um, would be the services like those for the construction ports, high rise buildings, roads, bridges, etc. Um, which are produced by construction firms, electrical products as well like transformers, circuit breakers, switch gear, power capacitors, etc. So those are produced by electrical manufacturing firms. So I know that you have some of those final goods and services you have in mind. So you may share that to our uh, discussion. All right, so we have briefly discussed what an operation is. Now let's proceed with uh, the operation management. So what is an operation management? As defined by Aldag and Cerns, this the uh, operation management is the process of planning, organizing, and controlling operations to reach objectives efficiently and effectively. So in our previous uh, lessons, uh, we know what is an efficiency and what is effectiveness. So uh, let me read this as defined, efficiency related to the cost of doing something of the resor resource utilization involved. While well, for the effectiveness, this refers to the goal um, accomplishment. Operations and the engineer manager. The engineer manager is expected to produce some output at whatever managing levels he is. If he is assigned as the manufacturing engineer, his function is to determine and define the equipment, tools, and processes required to convert the design of the desired product into reality in an efficient manner. The engineer in charge of operation in a construction firm is responsible for the actual construction of whatever bridge or road his company has agreed to put up. He is required to do it using the least expensive and easiest methods. The engineering as operation manager must find ways to contribute to the production of quality goods or services and the reduction of cost in his department. 
The typical operation manager is the one with several years of experience in the operations division and possesses an academic background in engineering. Okay, let's proceed now to the types of transformation processes. So there are two main categories of transformation processes. The first one is the manufacturing processes and the other one is the service processes. So manufacturing processes, those are that we refer to making of products by hand or with machinery as well for the services processes or service processes rather. Those are that uh, refer to the provisions of uh, services to persons by hand or with machinery. Under the manufacturing processes would be the job shop, batch flow, worker based line flow, machine uh, based line flow, batch continuous uh, flow hybrid and continuous uh, flow. Under the service processes would be the service factory, service shop, mass service and professional service. So what is a job shop? A job shop is a type of production or operation that is based on sales order for a variety of small lots. So this kind of sh shops, uh, they can provide customized items or product. So a good example of this would be machine tool shop, machining center, paint shop, commercial printing shops. Next one is the batch flow. This is actually a bigger operation compared to the job shop. Uh, batch flow is where lots of general owned uh, or own designed products are manufactured. Good example of this would be baked goods, clothing, computer chips, electrical goods, material coating, and uh, newspapers. So as we know, newspapers are being produced every day. Um, and so it means it is being produced by batch. Now let's proceed to the worker paced line flow and the machine paced line flow. For the worker paced line flow, this is an assembly line refers to a production layout arranged in a sequence to accommodate processing of large volumes of standardized product of services. The quality and quantity of output in a worker paced assembly line depend to a great extent to the skill of the labor utilized. And well, for the machine paced line flow, this type of production process uh, produces mostly standard, standard products with machines playing as a significant role. So these two types of transformation process, they are almost the same. It's just that um, for the worker place line flow, if you have, um, if you can see on the figure below, uh, it shows that uh, it uses the labor or the workers to in a production while on the machine paste uh, they are being replaced with the machines so that's the main difference of the two so what are the characteristics of a worker paste line flow and a machine paste time flow for the worker paste line flow the products manufactured are mostly standardized there is a clear process pattern specialized equipment is used the size of operation is variable the process is worker paced, the line of layout used is the line flow, and the labor is still a big cost item. While for the machine paced line flow, their characteristics would be the process is of clear rigid pattern, specialized item of equipment is used, the line flow layout is used, capital equipment is bigger cost item than the labor, operation is large, and the process is machine paced. So if you have noticed, their characteristics are the same. It's just that for the worker pace, um, apparently, the labor is the I mean the labor plays the biggest role in the production. While for the machine pace line flow, it is the tool equipment or the uh, machines that play the biggest role in the operation or production. Continuous flow. This is characterized by the rapid rate at which items move through the system. This processing method is very appropriate for producing highly standardized products like calculators, typewriters, automobiles, televisions, cellular phones, etc. It is characterized as follows. First, there is economy of scale in production resulting to low per unit cost of production. The process is clear and very rigid. Specialized equipments are used. 
The line flow layout is used. Operation are highly capital in intensive. The size of operation is very large and processing is fast. So the best example of this would be the uh, production of electricity and the production of Coca-Cola products or the Pepsi products. Batch continuous flow hybrid. This method of processing is a combination of the batch and continuous flow. Two distinct layouts are used, one for batch and one for continuous flow. The typical size of the operation is, is also very large, given opportunities for econ economies of scale. So the best example of this would be the production of medicines, vaccines, and masks. Alright, so we're done with the manufacturing type processes. Now let's proceed with the service processes uh, type. So they are of those that refers to the provision of services to persons by hand or with machinery. So the first one is a service factory. Service factory offers a limited mix of services which result to some economies of scale and operation. Also affords the company to compete in terms of price and speed of producing the service. Process layout uh, preferred by the service factory is a rigid pattern of line flow processing. So best example of this would be the production of goods uh, provided by McDonald's and uh, Jollibee. So yes, they are the one who's producing their own products and provide a service to people uh, all over the country or all over the world. So that, that is why they are of the economy since of scale in operation. Okay, let's proceed with the service shop. Service shops provides a diverse mix of services. The layouts used are those for jobs or fixed position and are adaptable to various requirements. Best example of this would be the Servitech and Megashell, uh, which services provides by these shops are car engine tune-ups, um, wheel balancing, uh, wheel alignment, change oil, etc. Mass service. Mass service provides services to a large number of people simultaneously. To be able to serve many people, mass service companies offer limited mix of services. So best examples of this would be the rail services, airports, and supermarkets. Alright, so the last type would be the professional service under the service processes. So the, prof the professional services, these are the companies that provide specialized services to other firms or individuals. So best example of this would be accounting services, legal services, engineering, and uh, management consultation services. In the next video, we will continue the uh, other topics like the man management tools, SWOT analysis, and the mission, vision, goals, and objectives.